Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm here in Toyota Pasongtamo. If you want to purchase your Toyota vehicles, you can contact the person here in the description section below. What you are looking at right now is one of the most wanted, most sold vans here in the Philippines. Yes, it is the Toyota Hi Ace. Did you know that Toyota Hi Ace has 11 variants? Well, actually, I didn't know. But this one is one of the entry level. This is the 3.0 liter Toyota Hi Ace Decontent. Yes, Decontent. So, why is it Decontent? Let's find out. In our channel, we say, Shija. Today is still in 2021, but this body has been existing since 2015. Now, from the 11 variants, if you just go above Deluxe, then it turns into Grandia, which are the current model or body, the updated one. So, in 2021, can a 2015 body still be significant? This is a van with a sliding door on one side. Before we continue, what are the dimensions? For its length, it has a total length of 4,695 millimeters. How about the width? The high ace has the width of 1,695 millimeters. How about its height? For the height, it has 1,980 millimeters. How about its wheelbase? The high ace has a wheelbase of 2,570 millimeters. So how much does this 2021 Toyota high ace commuter diesel manual transmission decontent cost? It costs 1,379,000 pesos SRP. Now, this is just second from the bottom variants. So there is a bottom one, which is the cargo, the new high ace cargo, which costs 1,101,000 pesos SRP. Let us find out what makes this one more expensive than the cargo. Here in front, lots of airways, uh, black plastic, huge halogen uh, lights with multi-reflector. Yes, there is no LED in this vehicle, but still, it is a durable Toyota, which will last almost forever. For the performance, this variant has a 3.0 liter diesel engine mated to a five-speed manual transmission, which is mounted on the dashboard. It has a rear wheel drive. It does 136 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. It has a max speed of 140 kilometers per hour. But when you see this vehicle being driven by the drivers here, I think it goes more than 200 for sure. Oh yeah. Now, why did I open this door? Because the engine is actually under here. You just need to lift this one. It's not that easy for me, so it's here, under. So the en entire engine is somewhere here. Here on the side, we can see that there is a character line that goes all the way through here with lots of glass. Yes, lots of windows. So you will not feel that, you know, you're stuck in a tight space. Uh, black door handles, very manual, super manual uh, side mirror, but it doesn't feel cheap. It will stay where you have positioned it. That is very important because if it's not, when you go into like uh, potholes, it will change. So that will not happen here. And look at this. There is actually a gutter here on top. So the water will not just shower on you. So that's a good touch to it. And there is a, like a fender uh, accent here. 
As you can see, the black accents are also here because this area is actually the footstep. Now, this variant doesn't come with a, a wheel cover, so it has a steel wheel. Comes with Toyo tires, the size is 195RC, okay? With ventilated disc braking system in front. For the suspension, we have Macpherson struts in front and we have new rigid lift spring at the back. Well, here in the rear, we have the same size steel wheel with same tire, but as mentioned, it has new rigid lift spring for the suspension. Just like the side, it has a huge window, very spacious window uh, with black trims, Toyota badge, and even the high ace had to be budget friendly. It's just thicker, but you can actually buy the chrome one uh, outside the casa. And nice, very clean uh, black bumper. It doesn't have a camera, it doesn't have a sensor, so, but you can actually install one. Let's try to open it. Look how big it is. You really have to be careful when you open this kind of trunk because it is huge. And also this area is also budget friendly. It has nice struts. This is a 15 seater and the seats are in nice vinyl. They are like perforated or dotted. They are dotted. However, you can only put this one up for that extra cargo space. Others are all fixed. There's an amenity here, uh, halogen type of cabin light. You also have a handle to open from the inside. So I think this is like very important. Like when you have accident, you want to get out, you want to escape. So it is always good to have some option like this. Let's check now how I would fit here in the driver's side. Grab handle and there's a footstep but the easier way is just hold this with the left and like this that's the easier way manual seats that can slide easy and also recline wow no wonder a uv express really likes uh this one because you can lie down all the way that's fantastic <laughs> This is a practical car, so everything needs to be practical, and this is it. Wow. Okay. Headroom. Legroom. Oh, I can get far, far away. Remember, this is a manual transmission. You need to get that clutch going. So even with my height, 5'10", I cannot reach for it. So I need to... Even this one. Yeah, something like that. You really want to make sure that clutch goes in very well. Let's go inside. The sliding door opens really well as it is designed to. There, there's a place here for your tow hook and the jack. The step board is really wide and it is not so difficult to enter. Not so difficult. It would be better, of course, if you have something to hold on to, but this one doesn't have. So the seats are fixed in vinyl. They are dotted. They all come with two-point type of uh, seat belts. On the floor, it's also dotted. Now these are fixed, but this one right here folds for you to have more access. But other than that, everything doesn't. So go inside like this. So the headroom is like that much. Headroom is that much. Ah. Try to close it. Then this is not the pinch type of uh, window. This one is a lot easier. It's not the pinch type. It's pinch, but only one side. The one with two, oh, that one is a headache. But this one is so easy. It doesn't feel like an entry. Well, yes, but considering how fast it is, how reliable it is, how many people can fit in here, oh, this is a budget-friendly vehicle. Like, what would you choose? This or H100? This or L300? Please do tell me in the comment section below. But this is a great deal from Toyota, even if this is a 2015 body. Let's check out the door panel. 
Yes, the door panel is very simple. It's all in plastic, but different patterns. You can hear different sounds. See, this one has a higher note. <laughs> Place for your handle, space, bottle holder. The art, you need to master the art of doing this without changing your facial expression so that no one will find out it is in manual. Door handle. There you go, very simple with the speaker, step area. See this? This floor material is like vinyl also, but they are dotted. And this one can be found in the rest of the entire uh, vehicle's uh, flooring. And this one, in case you guys don't know what this is, this one is when you uh, lift up the seats so that you can uh, access the engine, this will help you. Comes with three point, seat belt, there's a door, uh, there's, a, there's a grab handle, here, the clutch, the brake, and the accelerator. And look at this. This one just divides the clutch and the brake, just in case you mess up. Also, this one has different color. Very important because in Fortuner, they have the same color, which still makes me confused. Compartment three, blanks, blank also, coin holder, air condition. You can also adjust. The steering wheel up and down, manual lighting system, manual windshield wiper here, then more buttons, uh, more blanks also there. The instrument cluster, analogy. It still comes with the heat temperature, still comes with temperature middle, speedometer, but it doesn't come with the tachometer. Yeah. When you drive manual, you have to get the feel of it. You don't really need to see the tack. All right, let's enter now. Okay, here we are. Let's close the door. Oh, there's a speaker by the way. Yes. This is the dashboard area of this decontent model of the commuter. Really big nice sized steering wheel in urethane with the chrome toyota airbag four spoke feels good feels uh grippy with the grooves here at the back yeah really nice really nice doesn't look cheap and then the air vents of course they look the same now you can just close it like this and also open it like that and also change the direction the instrument cluster Looks nice, looks simple, doesn't have a tachometer, but there's a screen there. It is no-brainer. It is very useful. Five-speed five speed manual transmission with the shift knob missing because people keep stealing them. Keyhole. Side brake. You want to hear the sound? In case some people might not know how it sounds like. Now I'll let you hear the sound. There, like that sound. <laughs> Okay, it's the 2 din type of uh, infotainment system with CD and a screen, volume dial, perfect. Others are touch. There's aux and USB port as well to charge your phone. Hazard button is in red, fantastic. There's airbag here. Airbag, it's not a compartment. The compartment is here. It comes down so it's very fast, so you have to hold it very fast. Compartment also compartment also actually it is for um, ashtray but nobody smokes inside now diba right? v12 i uh, v12 12 volt then there's more compartment here a lot of compartment and that's that the air condition is in well there's a blower at the back so you can on and off blank Cabin light, you can also turn it on and off for the back. And this is a manual type of no-brainer, super duper cold aircon of Toyota. Standard room mirror, halogen type of cabin light. Very standard but a bit long. Like this one should be given to all cars. Like if it's just going to be like this, it needs to extend. But this one, oh yeah, you see that? It is... A bit short right there little pouches there's no mirror as well grab handle grab handle 
All right, the seats are nice. Now this center seat, there is a center. It's for people who are not old, who are, who deserve to be in that seat. So this one kind of folds like this. I thought it folds perfectly, but it just folds this much. But it still has a, an adjustable headrest. That's cool. Let me show you again. There you go. Very important. Vinyl type of flooring. It's dotted, so it's grippy. Now the seats are bench type. They are fixed. So this benches, the, the backrest cannot be adjusted. There you go. This is the window I told you. It's not the pinch type like that. It's like single pinch, which is very easy to do. Now, air condition. No brainer, right? Uh, the nice thing is that this one actually sends air to the uh, farther row. But this area will turn black. So maybe you can put a plastic there or something. So it will protect that area. Like half. Like like that much so you can talk to the driver and the passenger this one is foldable Ta -da! for that easy access there you go so this is the decontent material see it's bakal also here it's bakal so the flooring will be bakal if you get the cargo and look at this yeah this is the handle i talked about and look at the finishing it's not even plastic it's like a gypsum board or some plywood but you get a total of three ceiling lights and that's good at least this is not plywood no <laughs> so that's that there you go the step board easy to get down and also easy to close. Thank you for Kuya. Never forget to greet your Kuyas. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Thank you for watching. Truly, you guys are really powering this channel. If you want to purchase your Toyota vehicles, you may head on to Toyota Pasungtamo here in Pasungtamo. And with that, I will see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong.